Alrighty, so welcome back to the Kugath campaign. And at the end of the last episode, we used Demon Grog here to destroy Lokir Felhart's army right after Lokir declared war on us. Now, Lokir does have another army right here floating around, but that army, well, it is, it is possibly strong enough to take Bamboo Crossing because the garrison here is in such bad shape since we just conquered it, but hopefully we have one turn at least for that garrison to to grow a little bit before they would be able to launch the attack? I don't actually know. That's an, that's an interesting question. It is... It is only at 82% wall strength. I wonder if I should recruit an emergency army. This will fail. No. He's at full speed. It says at full speed he could reach... But he, it's conceivable that he could reach even, even at regular speed. Boy, I hadn't really thought about that too much. But he, okay, so this is a level 15 lord with, uh, you know, not, not great units, but decent units. And our garrison, do we have any good units in there? Well, we got us, I mean, they were, keeping in mind that they would all be extremely low health, we do at least have some good units in there. I think we're going to risk it. If, uh, if I'm wrong, actually here, let's do this. We, at the very least, we can race back in this direction. Maybe that would discourage him from doing it. But here, I thought that he made a, a silly strategic blunder by leaving his army here close enough for us to attack but now maybe it was all a clever ruse to get us to come out of the city i don't know we'll find out anyway we're going to go ahead and apply our ranks here and then if memory serves i think that's it for this turn so we'll go ahead and do an end turn after that so you are doing a mortal army i'm going to at some point take some of these hero units out i think i've given you everything up here that is in any way urgent yeah you don't really need more leadership i guess spell casting would probably be next i could also start to buff units but since so many of our units are actually these characters it's not really a high priority to do so now you you've got i guess we'll give you wound maker let's go ahead and find where we're looking at over here okay same thing for you, Wound Maker. You. I think you're also going to get Wound Maker. Yeah, let's give you Wound Maker as well. Okay, and. Deadly Blade. Now you've already got Deadly Blade. We'll give you Wound Maker. You've got, I gave you Wound, let's give you Specialist, Emil Hochlander, you are our field agent of, of necessity. Okay, you've got all of that, let's go ahead and give you Hard to Hit. You're now Immortal, very good. We're going to give you Hard to Hit as well. Dire Pox. You need Arcane Conduit. Ben von Liebwitz, you need... You probably need Woundmaker, but it looks like I was giving you Gate of Nurgle. I'm going to switch and give you Woundmaker. Okay. And is that everybody? That's everybody in this army anyway. Okay, so... You have a little bit of movement left. Okay, so one thing that I was that I was noticing right as I logged back in, after we get this situation rectified, which should only take one turn, then I did not realize this. We share a border with Lokir Felhart. Now I want to see how strong is Lokir. I know he's not terribly strong, but yeah, he's he's pretty weak. So other than this one army that we can already see down here. He may not have anything 
at least anything in this area. So we might be able to just march right up and take that. And it is a part of, of Shilong's province, so there's no reason not to go ahead and take it. It is a suitable climate for us, so that'll be good. Okay, anyway, let's... Um, you know, one thing that I could do, I just realized here. I don't know for sure if it'll reach, but if it does reach, if it can reach... Campaign movement range reduction right here. And while we're at it, do we want to give... Yeah, he's got he's got some dark shards in that army, so let's go ahead and give him the full the full range of debuffs here. Summon so a plague cultist since we have plenty of infections. Yeah, he can reach very good. Spread plague. Okay, I do not think at this point that he'll be able to reach our city to attack it. And if he did he would have a harder time succeeding, so... Got to remember that that's always an option with Nurgle. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get... Uh, you can now move up this way. I want to see if there's an army up here. Now, we do also have... Um, Yao Ming down here somewhere. Or is it Mao, y Mao Ying? Somewhere down here. Meanwhile, Dungrut, you are doing good work here just by doing your raiding. You are unfortunately losing Winds of Magic, but it's okay. You're, I think right now we need the uh, the money. And you've already moved. Okay, Pinshot, here we go. So, Kugath, no, you have not moved. All right, so this is good. This is... Uh, This is a chance for us to decide what we're going to do with respect to Grimgore. Let me check here. I'm sure Grimgore's not going to want to give us military access. Do I really care? He's not that much stronger than us now. You dare approach me. Yeah, okay, he's... If I don't like what you say, more He's not having a fantastic now. time of it right now. That's good to know. And as uh, someone pointed out in the comments, there is always the consideration of of uh, him launching a WA, and when would be the right time for us to attack him based on the status of his WA. But I also don't really want to leave... Kugath sitting here doing nothing for a very long time and since there's not really a good target for us over here we really have two questions one is could we move or it's actually it's all one question I guess I should say the question is do we want to move up here and help out in fighting eastward or even northward like, we could now go up and attack Arcan. You know what? I think while I'm waiting for the right time to attack Kugath, maybe that's an interesting plan. Is to go up here and, and take care of Arcan because he's going to be a pain in, in the side if we let him live. He hates us. He'll, he'll probably want to go to war with us as soon as he gets an opportunity. Of course, we also have Village over here. I think that's what we're going to do. I think, I think I feel a little bit more like using Kugath to pick off the low-hanging fruit before we start a great big war against Grimgor. Okay, and then... Pinchai. I... Am, I'm going to do something crazy with, with Pinchai. Let me just take a look at him here. I'm going to disband him. I'm going to pull these armies out. I'm going to send... 
I'm going to send the heroes up after Kugath. Bringing despair. And we can save a lot of money by... Um, can he not move further? Yes, he can move further. Okay, let's go ahead and get him... Wait a minute, where exactly do we want to go here? Yeah, we'll just keep keep going up this way. Okay. Um, all right. Somehow I'm having a hard time locating Pinchai. There he is. Okay. Yes. All right. So we're gonna get you up here as well. We could always add you into Kugath's army. You can actually get further. That's interesting. Okay. Um, let's get the... This is uh, who? This is Lupio Strudebaker. Let's get him up here. Get you over to here. And finally, Simon Becker. Okay. And Pinchai will be out for a couple turns, but then he'll be available to to bring back in at uh, at some point in time of our choosing. But for the time being, I don't really see any reason to be paying all this money. How much can we save by getting rid of him? We're at 4886. If we disband, yeah, we just gained 1200 per turn. And we have no need for an additional army right there. Okay. So, that's one question resolved. You 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 guys have all moved, obviously I just moved you. So, Falpus, you've already moved. Demon Grog, you've obviously already moved, and that's every No, Dungrut, you're staying where you are. Okay, that's that. Now let's take a look at the... at the um, building situation. We could build here. I don't see a reason not to. This is... I'm already giving him control. Wow, interesting. The maybe we do go ahead and give him corruption. I don't think we need to give him growth, however. So we'll give him that. That'll be good money. As well as good garrison. Okay. I think then that's probably all we're going to be able to afford. I want to save a little bit of money here. Shi Yong, you can take a plague. Okay. Now, let's check our diplomacy. We were at six. We're still at six, according to that. I assume that would have changed after, after we disbanded that one army. But I'm not positive. Maybe it waits until the end turn to update that number. Okay, I think... Um, who do we need to... We need to defeat... Oh. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. That's just a, a caravan. But... Uh, yeah, unfortunately, we don't have any armies around to attack it. So there's not a whole lot we can do about that. that that's going to end up being a mission failed. All right, well, Fu Hung, yeah, we'll, we'll eventually figure out what to do. In fact, we could act, now that I'm thinking about it, since we saved money disbanding one army, why don't we go ahead and... Why don't we go ahead and recruit into this army to make up for it? So this is where we want to have demons. This is a demonic army. I've got two flying units. I've got one soul grinder.
Do I want any land cavalry? Nah. I think we're gonna go with the uh, the good old exalted plague bearers. These guys are great. They're not fast, but that's okay. They're very sturdy. And we give them a buff. Okay, let's go ahead and... Well, we can only afford one. We'll, spread. No well then one it is. Together. Okay. In that case, maybe I do actually go ahead and... I bestow gifts to go back to raiding. Boys. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think that's all. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Supervisor for Demon Grog, that's good. Okay, Zarina Katarine, she is in the water. Hard to tell whether she might be moving towards Temple of Hankel or not. Doesn't look like it though, she's probably headed towards Archaeon there. Yeah, so I've been trying to make up for lost time um, since last week. I barely had any time to to do much in the way of gaming. I'm trying to carve out a little bit of additional time this week. So I'm getting these episodes out a little bit quicker. All right, so uh, anyway, Mao Ying there did decide to damage our buildings in Bamboo Crossing and move her army towards us, so we definitely have to concern ourselves now with with her. And Lokir's army is also going to be a nuisance. Got to make sure Bamboo Crossing is, is defended before I worry about expanding up there and taking Lokir's settlement that's on our border. We'll get there in time. Okay. Always good to get that supervisor trait. Very useful. So is a creator. I'm surprised Kugath is just now getting it, but whatever. Karak Vlag here. Got a plague. Ooh, interesting. Okay. So once in future gets horde has become a major power. That is uh that's interesting because I feel like they have already been a major power. Wonder what triggers that particular message. Uh Wiley Village here. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll capture and occupy that right after we take care of Mao Ying. Settlement receives bamboo plague, uh, bamboo crossing, that's good. Okay, so this is a little annoying, the fact that we took Damage to our port, 750 to repair it. Obviously the garrison not in great shape, but that's okay because we're going to move back in and I really cannot imagine anybody attacking us. That's a strong army, don't get me wrong, but they're not stronger than this army. Not They're not stronger than Demon Grog. Even, even though Demon Grog does need some replenishment. What is this foolishness? And that army doesn't dare stay there. They can't move south or they'll get attacked by Mao Ying. They can't stay there or they'll get attacked by Demon Grog. I'm guessing they'll move back out into the water. But I've been wrong plenty of times before. Meanwhile, we are uh, we're building this stuff up. The... Um, the devastation is causing us minus one public order. I really don't think that's that big of a deal, so I'm not going to pay for the repairs. You, you cannot damage walls because there are no walls. Where is a good place for you to go? Let's first of all check out over here. See if the lizards have anything going on over here. They do not, but... We could actually try to do a wound, 32%, it would cost 500. 
or a 0% chance there. I don't like the odds, so I think I'm just going to keep him back here for now. Make sure that we've got... Here, I'll tell you what, I can move him a little bit further this way. Just make sure that we've got uh, eyes on this general area so I don't get taken by surprise. Okay, now... Dungrut, you... You can recruit a little bit more and then make a push down here. I think that's probably what we want to do. You're not strong enough to do it yet, however. I thought we had a hero down here, but maybe that was... It what? No, it wasn't Rutschel Huss, I don't think. It might have been somebody that we moved... Oh, no, that's right. We moved him... We moved that hero into... It was Commissar Viraflox. We moved him back into this army. Father okay, um, children. let's go ahead and give you Arcane Conduit, Dungrut. And then we'll bump up your melee line. Or would we rather do this? Actually, scratch this. I'm going to do this first. I'm going to beef up... Yeah, that does affect our Exalted Plague Bearers. So that's good. Children. We need no time to rest. We need a stronger army. Time for new children. We could afford one more or I could put what, what does that give us? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's take a nice even 12. Choosing children is a and then we've got room in here, two more open slots where we could put some more characters in, possibly. How many cultists do we have here? We've got four cultists. That's more than enough. So we need one of these cultists, at least, to go down and join Dungruts. Army. I think... Let's go ahead and do it with... Um, you've got increased mobility. Do you also have increased mo Okay, so I can just use one of these two guys. We'll go ahead and use Wolfram here. Wolfram, you are now headed for this army. And this army, yeah, I, I want to get him a, a little bit of Winds of Magic. I'm losing way too much Winds of Magic down here, so that's fine for now. And plus he can replenish in our own territory. Okay, so we're, we're still in pretty good shape down there in Cathay, I think. Now Kugath. Let's just keep heading up this way. You're also losing Winds of Magic. Okay, you... What do we want to do here? Don't really know that there's much reason for us to con continue down in this direction since I'm not attacking Grim Grimgore right now. Let's see about getting you towards towards Kislev. If if I wanted to get you into Kislev, what's the fastest way? That does not surprise me. Okay, we'll just head west first. And that'll give us more visibility into different things anyway. And then we'll head north after that. Falpus, you get Deadly Blade. Pile Fiend, you get Replenished Troops. 
Okay, and this army now. Okay, I don't love them being in our territory, but I'm not going to declare war on them because of it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to see that message that we got from Grimgore, or about to Grimgor. Okay, so he went from five to, to three, I'm sorry, from four to three. I'll bet what happened was he captured a settlement, and probably that message triggers when you get to 25 settlements. That's my guess. He's not the... He's not the most worrisome faction, however, in the game, because that, I think, has to go to Oxyadal here with 22 settlements. Strength rank 2. Who's number 1? Do we know who number 1 is? We do not know who number 1 is. Interesting. Okay. Could it be... Could it be Reichland? Probably not, but let me just see. Do we not have... We don't have visibility on any of the Empire. Okay, so it could be. Oh, yeah, no, there it is. Okay, definitely not Reichland. Hmm, I don't know. Do not know. Okay. Dwarfs, maybe? All right. In any case, we're going to... Oh, I do. I want to check also about Castalton here. I might go back to raiding. Castalton has got twenty three and he's strength four, so he's still still pretty tough. So here's the question: I could go ahead and start marching him up to help out with Archaon, but he's probably more more needed down here because we have too many potential enemies this way. So if I were to move him to here, he doesn't have enough movement left to do raiding, unfortunately. Is there any value in channeling? There is not, okay. All right, good enough. And if somebody decides to come after Temple of Heimkull, he's close enough to help out. Okay, Demon Grog, you have moved. You have moved. You have moved. You have moved. Oh, yeah, these guys, okay. How many, just out of curiosity, how many turns away are we looking? That's actually not that... F oh, no, that's pretty far away. Never mind. Never mind, that's quite far away. Okay. March till we Basically, these are heroes in search of an army to, to join once it becomes necessary to raise another army. Which it currently is not. Let's go ahead and get you... Let's send one of you over this way. Just to make sure we don't get caught by surprise. By anything coming up in that direction. And then you... Okay, I'm still getting a hero not moved. Cult Agent Maternus. Okay, you. What do we want to do with you? I think we want to get you over here just to make sure we don't get caught by surprise by Grimgore coming down this direction. Another hero not moved. 
Okay, same thing for you up this way. Doesn't seem likely, however, that Grim Gore is going to attack us. Okay, that's it. Can we recruit more heroes or would we want to recruit more heroes? I could do another hero to add into this army. We'll have room for one more. Do I love any of these? Intelligence? Okay. Tough is, is very good. Yeah, let's go ahead and take Ian Didison here. Cultist of the fly lord. And let's see if he has any magic items. Sure, why not? Let's give you an obsidian lodestone. Not much reason for a pigeon plucker pendant. That's it. Let's see if there's any ancillaries to give him. Does not look like it. Okay. Well, we're going to move him in this direction, but obviously he's not going to get there for another turn. How are we doing on plagues? Village of the Tigerman, you need a plague again. Okay. Now. Diplomacy, I guess. Do I have any reason to hit Mao Ying with a... I really don't think Mao Ying is going to attack us. And if she does, I think we'll win. So, I don't really see any particular reason to hit her with a plague. Let's go ahead. Oh, wait a minute. Is this down to one turn? It is. One turn left on that. By the way, the more I learn about the Thrones of Decay, the more excited I am about it. Let's go ahead and uh, look at our diplomacy here. Yeah, we dropped from six to seven. That's fine. That's going to happen when you disband an army. Admiral of Kars Okay. Nothing really to particularly worry about there. Let's go ahead and end our turn. Yep, she's heading up towards Archaon. Oh no, she she kind of turned into a little nook there. She's parked in a little fjord. Okay, Cathay. Sure, that, that suits me fine. I probably should have attacked that agent and tried to wound it, but now I'm glad I didn't. Mao Ying, you're kind of running away from me there. That's interesting. Okay, that was it from Cathay. Things not looking overwhelmingly great for Cathay right now. And look here, as I thought, running away back up towards the water. These guys are asking to get assassinated. Okay, Reichland. And Grimgor. I do need to keep an eye on the Chaos Dwarves and make sure that they're not in imminent danger of collapse because we don't want that to happen. We want Grimgor to have to keep 
basically spreading himself thin, focusing on them. Okay, Pillar of Skulls, very good. Harold and Nurgle, ready for duty. Rancid visitations for our great unclean ones. Dungrut got a plague. Falpus got a plague. Demon Grog got a plague. Wow, lots of plagues spreading. That's all very good. And we encountered Slanesh. Okay, and then... A couple of ranks for our characters. All right. Ooh, sorry, I'm yawning all of a sudden. Okay. Um, if I'm yawning, that's probably a terrible sign for how uninteresting the uh, video is. But we'll see if we can do something about that. Let's keep racing up this way. Let's... Um, Let's go ahead and spread out a little bit to make sure that we've got plenty of visibility on these territories. Really love the uh, the graphics for those uh, war shrines. Okay, cult agent here, you. I was moving you up in this general direction. Okay, who's next? Falpus. We could go ahead and attack Astalton. Is there any real reason to? I mean, it's good territory, but it's an extra war that we don't really need right now. The only reason I didn't attack Grimgore is because... Lokir just declared war on us, and I don't want to have... I mean, the, the best way to get yourself in trouble in Warhammer is to have too many opponents at the same time. Okay, Demon Grog, you could actually reach right here. You could go ahead and destroy him, and I don't really see a major reason not to. I don't think Mao Ying... Interference will cost you doesn't look like she can reach the city. I mean, there's really no reason not to destroy him, right? Let me hit her with a a uh, campaign movement range minus 25%. Base weapon damage, missile strength, that, that'll be good. Okay, summon a plague cultist. cultist of the plague. Go ahead and hit her. The main thing is I just want to make doubly sure that she cannot reach Bamboo Crossing to attack it this turn. Okay. Now she definitely can't. Lokir's got another army right here, but uh, that's not going to be a big deal because we're going to go ahead and destroy this army right here. I don't think there's anything to do... In the meantime, we have no ranks to apply. He's in march stance. Decisive victory. Fight the battle. I'm not even going to look at the map ahead of time. Demon Grog... Well, basically the, um, the character units can probably handle this fight on their own. We'll save our... Uh, Our damaged units stop. We'll, we'll keep them out of it so they don't suffer any more damage, meaning they can uh, replenish that much faster. Let's go ahead and start deployment. Oh, I forgot to put the plague on him. That's okay. I do not think we need it. 
Get all of you guys down in there. I'm going to sit this one out. Let's go ahead and get the ground melee combatants on two. Let's get the the flyers on one. And you're on three. And you can hang back a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead. Start the battle. Let's move forward here. Let's go ahead and get the flying units on those Reaper bolt throwers. Taking a little bit of damage. He also launched a fireball at us. That's fine. Once, once we get behind them, everything will be golden. Meanwhile, you guys keep coming forward. You're on chariots, it looks like. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Locus of Contagion. Demon Grog, you come around this way and then you can attack them. You can attack as well. Now let's get you let's get you in here as well. Locus of Contagion. Demon Grog, you go ahead and hit them. I'm assuming you'll make short work of them. Let's go ahead and get some spells off here. Let's go ahead and do a... We could do a Rancid Visitations as well. On their Lord. Demon Grog doing fine. You guys... Just everybody charge in on there. Enemy Lord is dead, not a surprise. Fire Warlocks there, get them taken care of. Okay, how are you looking? Let's go ahead and get... Well, no, let's save our magic for a fleshy abundance. Meanwhile, you can start coming forward. Demon Grog, you're kind of wreaking havoc down here, I believe. Let's go ahead and take care of that Blood Rack Medusa. You can go ahead and do your Locus of Contagion again. And you will be able to in a moment. Okay, let's just make sure you're attacking something before you do it. There we go. Demon Grog. Fighting this Medusa one on one. Come on, don't let her get away, man. What are you flying up in the air for? Okay. Victory, that very good. They're in March stance. We've already killed their lord. Let's just go ahead and get everybody here in the middle to meet for one great big fleshy abundance. Can speed up here. Okay. Oh, you don't have a... What about you? No, we don't have the overcast of fleshy abundance. Well, that's... That's annoying. Well, in that case, we'll just cast them individually. It's fine. Um, Demon Grog doesn't need it because he's got regeneration. Let's give it to this guy.
Okay, can you cast it again? Not for 30 seconds. Okay, fleshy abundance on you. Let's get you back up to full, and then we'll go ahead and end it. Well, Demon Grog, you're still recovering, aren't you? Oh, he's only getting one point per second. That's a lot slower than I expected. Takes 16. All right, that's good enough. Zero losses, hard to do a whole lot better than that. We did take a couple of points of damage to one of our characters, but I think I can live with that. All right, well, Kurthina, I'm sorry about that, but your faction leader decided to declare war on us for some reason, and you didn't run away fast enough, so... These things are going to happen. Take the favor. Okay, so you did just get a plague here, Demon Grog, but it's not not really a beneficial one for us. We did get one rank. Let's go ahead and apply it. And probably is going to be hard to hit. Yep, hard to hit. Fair enough. Let me just make sure one of you guys has... Yeah, you've got replenished troops. Okay, that's good. All right. Um, now, Demon Grog, you have a little bit of movement left. Let's just make sure you don't move close enough to get attacked by Mao Ying. You don't really need to go into... Channeling Stance. Wolfram, yeah, you can join this army. We'll give this army one more turn to replenish, which also gives Ian here time to get into the army. As well as Wolfram. Okay, and I suppose I could go ahead and give him the crumbling ague. That will get them almost, maybe entirely, no, not quite. They'll get up to uh, almost full and one end to turn. Pestilence is... You get a rank here. We're going to give you bloated carcass. Okay. Pandemonium. Pa pandemodium, excuse me. You are going to hang out right here. Simon Becker. We are going to send you up this way. Which means someone fetch me a Stephen Bladder. Jaeger, you can or Jaeger, you can go up this way as well. As well as you. So here's the question. Is delightfully I could just I could just put the exalted heroes into this army. Except I really don't want to be losing rank 7 Nurglings. I don't want to just disband units that are rank 7. And besides, Nurglings are, are good in Kugath's army. Okay, so has everybody moved at this point? No. You have not. We need you... To keep heading towards Kislev, which meant 
up and around like so. Very good, we're discovering new territory along the way. Lord not moved. Okay, Dungra, yeah, you're gonna stay there. Hero not moved. Can we give you another rank? Oh, you don't have any ranks of wound. Never mind. I'm obviously not setting you up to be a field agent. Okay, let's go ahead and give you blade shield then. And let's have you move down here. They will march with joy. There's room for you in that army. From my wounds, the fester pours. And I'll just recruit another field agent when it's necessity. Okay. Um, Building upgrades available. This we can go ahead and check out. The challenge stone. You need 15,000. You're in good shape. You're in good shape. Although we need to start putting plagues on some of these settlements back in our original territory again. This looks like a really good place for a plague. Okay, um, let's keep checking things out here. You are fine. Okay, I think we're all good here. Yeah, no, I think we're back to Bamboo Crossing. How much would it cost now to repair? 400? Eh, no hurry. What about over here? You guys, here we go, Titan's Notch. You you need a building here. What are we doing with you in Titan's Notch? We have control. We have growth. Guess that means we'll also give you corruption. Okay. I think maybe we'll just save the rest of our money Eventually, we'll be able to get one of these other Tier 4 settlements up to Tier 5. Good enough. Okay. Research available. At this point, I'm just going to start filling in all the things that we haven't done. Damaged building. Yes, we know. Diplomacy. Okay. Quick deal. Yeah, not real surprising that he's leaning closer and closer to peace with us, but uh, yeah. Sorry, buddy. Okay, let's go ahead and end our turn. This may end up being the last end turn for this episode. I'm not sure yet. Okay, she was hiding in that little fjord. Now she's come back out again. Got tired of chasing Archeon, I suppose. I meant to pay some attention to this area right here, this ongoing battle between Grimgore and Gash Kadrak. This is a, that's a really interesting development that's going on right there, okay. Attempted and failed an assassinate. That is a good reminder for us to try to assassinate him. Hero jumped into that army there. And another one left. Whatever. Okay. Look here, you have some more annoying hero agents. But you're not actually doing anything, so that's fine. 
Reichland, we still can't really see what you're doing. Okay, Grimgore coming up here. How is he going to react to Gash Kadrak? He's not running away, is he? No, I don't think he's running away so much as just making some kind of a strategic maneuver. Alrighty. Very good. Ooh, a scheme of doom performed by Tretch. Okay, we got Demon Grog's got creator. Very good. Kiang receives plague. Okay. Yeah, again, I'm not going to worry too much about that trespassing. Commissar Viraflux, you got a, a level. And we got some buildings constructed. That's all very good. Alright, so now you... are in much better shape to start marching down here. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do it in raiding stance. We're getting 800 out of raiding. We are back to losing Winds of Magic, unfortunately, but can't really be helped. Okay, you... I th I'm of a mind to, I think, leave you here at this crossroads. Kugath, you are continuing to race up this way. We still have a few more turns, but we could start with the Bleeding Stone. I'm sure that uh, that's Cull, I think, right? He's Archaon's vassal. Or would we rather just go straight towards... What's the, was it the Writhing Fortress? Yeah, the Writhing Fortress. We could just go straight towards that. Take us another couple of turns, but that way we completely take Archaon by surprise. Okay, Simon Becker. Let's do this. Let's try to find where, where his armies are, for one thing. May not matter if we telegraph our attack if he doesn't have any armies close enough to react. Each new lesion is a blessing. Sickness is delight. I'm actually going to send one of these exalted heroes eastward my wounds turn putrid. just to uh, discover the Fly Lord's what's going on over here. We know, we, like, we don't know what's going on over here. Stop. Since we don't desperately need Jaeger in an army right now, we can at least get him to serve some purpose. Okay. Lupio, you... Yeah, you're the one that I was sending over this way, right? I just now realized we're actually getting close to our own. Oh no, you were the one I was sending over this way. All right, I don't know what I was doing with Lupio. Yeah, you are the one, okay. That's fine. Discovering lots of territory, always a good thing. Valpus, you are going to continue Alright, I'm going to take a look here at Castalton. We're over an hour, so I'm not going to attack Castalton in this episode, but 
Obey. Look at it. Look at all these enemies. He's at war with everyone under the sun. Wow, okay. And we could very easily take this. And it is a a suitable climate for us. And we can use it as a launching pad towards Volkskrad. That would give this army something useful to do. I think I'm going to not decide until the beginning of the next episode because... A lot of times I change my mind in between episodes, but I think that's, there's a strong likelihood we might go ahead and attack. I know I said I didn't want to attack Grimgor because we already have plenty of enemies, but man, looking at Castalt, and this just sure seems like a safe proposition to, to do that, um, to declare war on him. We also need to assassinate this unit over here, at the very least. Okay. All right. Well. Yeah, I think that's. Wait a minute. I just realized. I already started this turn, didn't I? And. I can't. Did I fight a battle this turn to save the game? I did not. So I have to finish this turn. Okay. That was dumb of me. What did I... What did I do? Dungrot, I moved you. Oh, and I moved... Yeah, and I moved Kugath and all them. Okay, alright, well, yeah. So, I looks like I'm... Pretty much stuck in... Uh, finishing this turn, then. Okay, so, Ben Von Leavitz. What are your chances here? 40%, that's all. Do any of you guys have a better chance? Emil, you've got a good chance, right? 39, that's an even lower chance. Well, I'm going to try it because I don't want to let him keep attempting to assassinate us. 40% costs 1,200. No, that's not worth... It's not worth 1,200. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, what are we going to do? This garrison is not quite strong enough to hold out against... ...against Mao Ying just yet, so we're going to continue to defend it until it is. Alright, so our Cathayan armies have moved. Jaeger, you've moved. You're staying there. You've moved. Moved, moved, moved. You are staying there. Yeah, I moved all kinds of things. I kind of just lost track of... Okay. Uh, I... I don't really see any reason not to. What kind of plague do we have on us here? We got the wrong kind of plague. It's not a very strong army, but there's still, or garrison, I should say, but there's no reason for us to not give, give ourselves the right kind of plague. Um, let's take a look here at Castalton. Who is somebody that you're at war with who will give us money? Repel chaos. Archaon. Boy, that would be ironic, wouldn't it? There's so, I li sort of like the, uh, the irony here. Of asking Archaon for money to declare war on Castalton. He's going to give us 3,200 and then we're going to turn around and attack him. Okay. We are now at war with Castalton, the fourth most powerful faction in the game. But. With lots of enemies. Now I can go ahead and hit this. We will fight this first thing in the next episode. I don't have time to do it in this episode, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and give this to him. Okay, so encircle, and there we go. That saves the game. 
All right, very good. I don't have to actually do another in turn. We'll just pick up right here with this battle first thing in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.